Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa Kazem and today is my birthday. So in today's video, I am gonna be going book shopping for my birthday and getting books that I've specifically been wanting. And you're probably also wondering why am I going book shopping when I have all of these packages here? And I have two reasons for that. So all of these packages, well, almost all, like 99% of these packages are used books. I ordered them specifically because they are books that I've been wanting and I like to get books used if I can. So I'm going to be opening all of these when I come back from book shopping. There is one book here that is not used and it's a very special book from the author on Etsy. So I can't wait to open that one later. But the reason I'm going book shopping is because there are books that I have really been wanting by authors that I love that I just can't get used either because they are newly released or I just can't find any good used copies anywhere and so I just want to go to Barnes and Nobles and get them for myself. I will also be browsing every section of the bookstore today except for non-fiction because I don't really like reading non-fiction that much but every fiction section I am going through I'm gonna do young adult, fantasy, romance, thriller, horror, I'm gonna look at everything today and I haven't done that in so long I haven't been able to just find the time or a day where I can just go to Barnes and Nobles and just browse everything. And yeah, today's book shopping is not about buying popular books. I am literally buying books that I'm genuinely excited for, that I really want to read. Also, I am 25 today and that is just terrifying. I honestly think I am having a quarter life crisis. Based on my YouTube stats, you guys who watch my videos are between 18 and 50 something. So I know there's a lot of you who are older than me who probably think I'm crazy right now saying that I feel like I'm having a quarter life crisis. But let me know, when you turned 25 did you have a quarter life crisis because I actually feel like I'm having one and it's really freaking me out and I just want to go back to being 22 but it's fine I'm 25 the first half of my 20s is done and that is terrifying but yeah today I'm just gonna enjoy myself and not think about that so anyway we're gonna go to Barnes and Nobles right now do my book shopping and then when we come back I will show you everything I bought and open all of these packages with you so let's go book shopping for my birthday <laughs> Okay, you guys, I have really been wanting this book, The First Binding, because it just sounds so good. But look how massive this is. I might hold off on buying this until I'm actually ready to read it because I still have Priory of the Orange Tree at home and I literally have not started reading it yet. So I think I need to read that before I buy myself this one.
Okay, literally, the heart principle is so amazing. If you like romance that's not just fluffy, boring stuff, like if you like a genuine romance, this book is incredible. Okay, I have been debating reading It Happened One Summer for so long because it just doesn't sound like my type of book at all, but everyone loves it. Let me know what you guys think. Have you read this book? And then there's a sequel. Let me know. Okay, so I just finished up at Barnes and Nobles. I was in there for, I think, three and a half hours, which was a lot. My feet are killing me so much, and I ended up not even looking at horror. Like, I walked past it, and then I was just like, eh, I, I want some other books instead. So, didn't look at any horror, but I ended up getting nine books, and I am so excited to show you guys what I got. There were so many books I kept grabbing and then putting back because I kept changing my mind, so I think that's part of the reason I took so long. But anyway, I'm gonna go and get my birthday Starbucks drink because I have a free birthday reward and I deserve a nice frappuccino for my birthday even though it's freezing outside. And then we're gonna go home and I'm gonna show you my books and open up all those packages. <sighs> okay, I am ready to go through these books. I'm gonna try and do this as fast as I can before the sun sets because that is my lighting. So if the lighting changes, I'm sorry. So the first book I got is Real Men Knit by Juana Jackson. This is literally a romance set in a knitting shop. The guy's adoptive mother who owns the shop just passed away and the employee there has a crush on him. And yeah, that's basically what this book is. It just sounds like it's gonna be really cute, but also heartwarming. And I really wanted to get something like that. The next book I got is The Trouble with Hating You by Sajni Patel. I read the second book first, which is First Love Take Two, but they're about different couples, and so this is the first one. So basically her parents try to set her up with a man that they want her to marry, and she's not interested. And then a week later, the same guy shows up at her work. So it's like a workplace romance, and I just love the second book, so I'm hoping I love this one too. The next book I got is Ghosts by Dolly Alderton. So I know I said I wasn't gonna get any popular books, but I keep seeing this one everywhere, and it just just sounds really interesting to me. So it's not strictly a romance, there's other things going on in this woman's life and she's really upset with all the stress and everything. Her father has dementia, it's getting worse, she has issues with her mom, she's a writer, and she meets this great guy that ends up ghosting her and she's all upset about it, which I don't know why I want to read it, but I just do, it sounds really interesting. The next book I got is The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeko. I love this author. She wrote The Never Tilting World and the second book, which is the Ever Cruel Kingdom, and I love those books so much. One of my favorite fantasies I've ever read. So I thought I'd pick up her book, The Bone Witch, because I think she's more well known for this series than the other one, but I didn't know her at the time. I just read the description of that book and I fell in love with it. So I'm hoping I'll love this one too. I also picked up another book by her, which is Silver Under Nightfall. This is her brand new release, and I don't even know what it's about, but it just looked like, I mean, look at this cover. This is basically an adult fantasy with vampires and kingdoms, reapers, dukes. Like this book just sounds absolutely insane. It sounds amazing. And after what she did with The Never Tilting World, I will trust anything she writes. Okay, the next book I've got is Lightlark by Alex Astor. This is also a newly released book. 
book, there's like a deadly game with rulers that have to compete and one of the rulers has to die and our main character has to lie, cheat and betray. It just sounds exactly like up my alley. This is the kind of stuff I love to read. So I'm excited about this one. The next book I got is Road of the Lost by Nafisa Azad. I am so excited about this book because I read her book, The Candle and the Flame. I talked about it in my September wrap up. So I'll link that video for you. I loved that book. She is a Middle Eastern author and that book was just an amazing Middle Eastern fantasy and I feel like us Middle Easterns are not represented enough so I had to get her newly released book. Basically this girl literally lives in the forest with her guardian. Her guardian gives her a book about magic from the other world where there are higher fae and there is also a fae boy who keeps trespassing in her dreams. So this is a romance fantasy and I'm so excited about it. Okay so I turned on some lights to make sure that you guys could see me but the next book I got is Soul of the Deep by Natasha Bowen. I have been waiting for this book to come out. I read her first book, Skin of the Sea, months ago. It's literally about a mermaid and it's just so incredible. It has Orisha gods in it and just amazing fantastical things. And the ending of the first book was so intense and there's a love interest and I need to know what's going to happen next so I had to get this one. Okay and so the last book I got from Barnes and Nobles is House of Hunger by Alexis Henderson. This is some insane fantasy about this society of people where blood is power. Like these people literally drink blood and she ends up getting a job as a blood maid. This is a gothic fantasy and I've only read one gothic book which was Mexican gothic and I loved it and so I thought why not get this one too. Okay so it's finally time to open all of these packages. I am going to start with the pink package because why not? Okay, let's see which book this is. Ooh, get a life, Chloe Brown. So this is about a girl who basically has a near-death experience and she spent her entire life being really strategic and planned and everything. But after that experience, she wants to branch out and just have fun and enjoy life. And so she meets this guy who has tattoos, a motorcycle, and he's an artist who paints at night. And it just sounds so funny and interesting and it kind of reminds me of the heart principle. So I'm hoping it's good. Okay, next one. Okay, let's see. See which one is this? Okay, so this is Ties That Tether by Jane Iharo. I think that's how you pronounce it. How do people end up doing this to their books? I need to figure out a way to get that sticker off because that is going to drive me mad. So this is about a woman who, when she was 12 years old, she promised her dying father that she would marry a Nigerian man and preserve her culture, even after immigrating to Canada. But in present day, she ends up having a one night stand with a white man and she ends up catching feelings for him and she doesn't want to disappoint her family family or let him down. I love reading romances where there are cultural differences and issues in the family. I don't know why it's just so powerful to read so I'm really excited for this one. Okay next one. Okay so the next one is Shatter Me. So I read Tahera Mafi's book, This Woven Kingdom, which is a Persian mythology, and I absolutely loved it. It was an amazing fantasy. And I know that her series Shatter Me has a lot of hype and there are like eight books in the series or something like that. So I really wanted to get this one and try this one out too. Okay, next one. Okay, so this one is actually newly released yesterday and I pre-ordered this one off Amazon. This is Better Than Fiction by Alexa Martin. This is about a girl who hates books and she ends up inheriting her grandmother's bookstore. But an author goes to her bookstore to do a book signing and he really wants to show her how books are interesting. So it's kind of a romance set in a bookstore and I just thought that sounded so cute and cozy. Okay, next one. Okay, so the next one is The Hig Holiday, The Hig Holiday, I don't know how to pronounce it, by Rosie Blake. I got this one used on Amazon and it literally said that this was like new condition. Do you see this ink splot on the top? Yeah, that is like a very damaging ink splot, which is really frustrating. I might return this one and just buy it brand new. So this is a holiday romance set at a toy shop. Basically, the toy shop is that threat for being closed down and our main character is trying to make sure that it doesn't close down. And then some guy comes back to town to help with it or something like that. I don't know. It's just supposed to be a cute family warming Christmassy book. I don't know. It just sounds cute and I want to read this in December. Okay, so the next one. I think there's more than one in this package. Oh no. Oh my god. This is one book. Wow. 
So this is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. I have bought the first book, which is An Ember in the Ashes, and it's somewhere in this pile. I'm just like 99% sure I'm gonna enjoy this fantasy, so that's why I got the first two out of the four books in it. I've heard a lot of good things about this, and I just really wanna read this series. Okay, next one. Okay, there are definitely two books in this one. Okay, so the first one in it is An Ember in the Ashes, but I am not keeping this book. Do you see how damaged this is? It doesn't even lie flat. No. I'm gonna return this one and see if I can get a better used copy somewhere. Like, I'm fine with a book receiving a lot of love, and I love my books, but I keep them in really good condition. I need to look up where I got this one, but every single book I ordered either said very good condition or brand new, and this, it's completely lopsided. This is the problem with buying used books. Sometimes you get really great ones, sometimes not, but I can always return it and find a better one later. Okay, so the next book in this package is Sweet Hand by N. G. Peltier. So this book sounds really fun. It's about this guy and this girl. They are the best man and maid of honor to someone else's wedding. And they've both thought of each other as annoying their whole lives, but they both secretly have crushes on each other. And it just sounds like a really cute romance. Also, there's a cat on the front and I love cats. So I thought, why not? This just sounds really cute. Okay, next one. Oh, okay. So this is Sage and Storm by Leigh Bardugo. I have the first book, Shadow and Bone, upstairs. I just haven't read it yet. And because this was only like $5, I thought, why not just get the second one? And then maybe that will motivate me to read the series faster. Okay, next one. Okay, so this is The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. I am again not keeping this book. I am going to return it. That is really gross. I don't know if it's coming up well on camera. I don't want you guys to think that I'm just disrespecting all of these books. I'm not, but this is extremely damaged. I don't think the camera picks up how damaged this actually is. I know it's a used book, but it said very good condition and this is not very good. I actually think these pages might be water damaged, but I really wanted to read this one. It sounds really good. I am just gonna get a better copy because this is so beaten up. Okay, next one. This person wrapped this book so nicely. Okay, see this is brand new condition. So this is My Sister's Big Fat Indian Wedding by Sajni Patel. This is, you know, another book by her. I just loved that one book so much. And so I really just wanted to get this one. So basically there's this wedding going on and the sister of the bride is being set up with the groom's cousin. And I don't think she wants to be set up with him, but there's a whole wedding going on. And it just sounds like a really fun romantic comedy. Okay, next one. Ooh. So this one is Music of the Night by Angela J. Ford. I have been wanting to read this book for so long. So basically this girl named Aria, her father dies and she's left penniless and destitute. And so to avoid working on the streets, she becomes the ward of a count and moves to a remote town called Hightower. And to avoid an arranged marriage, she can learn to sing for the count instead. But there's a mysterious man in the dark tower. Something deadly is stirring, awoken by the master and there's just haunting, terror, blood, and murder. So it sounds like a really fun, interesting book. Okay, next one. Okay, the next book is The Dating Plan by Sarah Desi, or Desi. So this is about a girl whose parents want her to get married, and so she asks her childhood crush to be her decoy fiance, and then the guy, who is her childhood crush, has learnt that his inheritance is contingent on being married, and so he's fine going along with the marriage. And so basically, it's a fake dating situation. I'm not the biggest fan of fake dating, but for some reason, this one just sounds like it will be good, so I'm excited for this. Okay, next one. Ooh, so this one is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. I have been wanting this book for so long. Okay, so this is about a kingdom that used to have magic. Our main character, her mother was killed, and now she has a chance to bring back magic and strike against the monarchy with the help of a rogue princess. This just sounds, again, exactly like my type of book. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, so we have The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. This cover is completely damaged. We'll see, the rest of this book is really good condition, but that is extremely damaged. At least for me. Ugh, I, I don't wanna sound horrible because I'm not trying to be horrible. So this is about a girl named Stella, and she hires a male escort to help her get more experience in the dating world. It just sounds like it's gonna be a really fun romantic comedy, so I really wanted to read this one, especially because I loved her book, The Heart Principle. Okay, so the next book is The 
Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. So this is about this guy and this girl. They end up meeting in an elevator and the guy is going to his ex's wedding and he randomly asks this girl to pretend to be his girlfriend and go with him. So basically another fake dating, but I've heard really good things about this author. So I'm really hoping I enjoy this one. Okay, I am really hoping that this book is not damaged. And I'm sure you guys will know why when I open it. So this is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And I've been wanting to read this one for a while. And all of my local Barnes and Nobles only sell the hardcover, which is like 30 something dollars. And I didn't want to pay that. So I got a used paperback. But there is something sticky on this book. Like, I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, but the surface is actually sticky. It feels like syrup or something. It even got on the pages a little bit. I'm like scared of ripping the pages. I might return this one. I really want to read this book. Like I've been dying to read it and I can't find it anywhere at a decent price. And I'm not getting the hardcover also because the hardcover one is humongous and I don't need a book that big. I just don't understand why it's sticky. Like what is that? Why is it sticky? And it literally says Amazon inspected and repackaged. Yeah, right. There's some goop on my book. But anyway, I know that this last book is going to be good because this is brand new from the author's Etsy shop and I'm so excited to open this one. Okay, so this is the Fair Isle Trilogy by Tesson, Tessonia Odette. So this book is actually three books in one. The first book is To Crave a Fay Heart. The second one is To Wear a Fay Crown. And the third one is To Spark a Fay War. This book is signed by the author and it has, I think, three or four beautiful illustrations in it. Look how gorgeous is that? And let me show you guys under the dust jacket. Look at this book under the dust jacket. Is that not absolutely stunning? I rarely ever get special edition books and I saw the first book online somewhere and after reading the description I really wanted to read it and you know I saw it was a trilogy but then I saw that she sold the entire series as one massive book and I don't know why I just love this version of the cover so much more than the three individual covers. I think it's because of the color purple and the font and the way the writing is. I don't know it just looks so beautiful and then when I saw I could get it signed from her Etsy store and it was still a really reasonable price for three entire books I thought why not let me just get this so I'm really excited to read this one I don't know when I'm gonna read it because it's massive but I really want to read it it just sounds so good so this is about two girls they are sent to the fearsome fey king to marry him and his devilish younger brother but her sister flees and leaves her alone and she's the one who has to marry the king I think it's just a romance fantasy and it just sounds so good and so interesting and the book is gorgeous so I just had to. So that is it. I have opened all my packages. I have shown you guys every single book I got for my birthday. I will definitely be returning The Spanish Love Deception, The Hig or Hig Holiday, An Ember in the Ashes, probably From Blood and Ash if I can't clean that off. But anyway thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this birthday vlog with me. If you are still here at the end of this video, go ahead and leave a yellow heart emoji down below so that I know that you're a real one. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and do you treat yourself for your birthday? What do you treat yourself with? Do you get books? Like what do you do? Let me know. I started this video today around 12 when I left the house and it is now dark outside. I don't know what time it is, like five or six or something. So it's been a very long happy book day for my birthday. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.